Okay, uh, it's all screwed back together and I've mounted it to my Mega CD1. Good old Sonic the Hedgehog in there. It's going to be enough light you'll be able to see. There it is. Jammer edge. There we go. Sits nicely inside the case and hopefully I haven't moved it too much. Here's the wire that goes down, goes into the back of the Mega CD. Oh, I think my video just flipped there. Okay, hopefully it didn't too much. Right, let's fire it up. Super gun on. Arcade speaker there. Here we go. I find that some games um, fire up really quick. Other games, notably Konami games, take a little while to get going. Here you go, running full screen, full speed, uh, and using my arcade stick. This is the start button. So there you go, there's Sonic. Turn him off. Right. So, uh, yeah. So essentially this will be an arcade machine. Uh, it's a little bit redundant for me here because I have only a TV and I have other Mega Drives anyway. But it was a fun project. So if I ever get an arcade machine, which I would dearly love to get, um, this would work in it. And as you can see, this, this is now, say, like a Neo Geo MVS motherboard. And this is your cartridge. You plug this in. Power your arcade machine back up, and hopefully, zombies will start. Ah, here we go. For some reason, the Konami games have to be started in um, in PAL, PAL mode, I think. This might do it, and then it seems to take a little while for the screen to start up. It's the same with the Mega CD. It does work, but. Uh, why it takes so long, I am unsure. There we go. So imagine if this was now I just flick it to full screen. There we go to NTSC. But again, zombies. You never had that on an arcade on the arcade system, so this will be pretty awesome to play on a I don't know an Aero City or a Woody or whatever. So right, okay. So that's the Mega Drive games working. Turn him off. Oh, there we go. Unplug. Make sure he's still sitting in. Right, and we'll power. Oh, make sure I switch it back. Back across, okay. Because Mega CD is only like starting up in the region that they've been set for. So this is PAL, so it needs to be all set to PAL. Again, it takes a second for the screen to fire up obviously you can hear the sound there you may be able to guess what game it is in a sec looks pretty sweet I think the setup I'm really pleased with how it's turned out so and the fact that it, it looks stock on the shelf I'm real real pleased with that so here we go, screen should come on in a sec. Obviously this will be a real pain in the bum if you've got an arcade machine and you want to play this, but it may work a lot better on the arcade machine. Here you go, it's fired up. Now if I reset it. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, my camera ran out of memory, so I've had to edit it. Here we go, so I've reset it now after it has started... Um, started playing so this drive ejects when you reset so hit start there we go and hit start again so as you could have um, probably told from the music of when it was loading up essentially uh, it's Final Fight CD that's in which I think a lot of people think is a definitive home version it has loading times which sucks but the graphics are awesome it's two player 
sprites and everything are super large on the screen. Click it over to 60 hertz. Now it's loaded. Uh, it's got CD audio now, stereo audio, but it's been pumped through to mono arcade speaker. But arcade machines are mono. It works fine, so that's all good. Let's see if this will adjust. Oh, it's going to go super bright. There we go. You can see it's nice and crisp. It's running RGB through the jammer edge, um, which is all good. Looks obviously better on CRT uh, with scan lines, but I don't have the room here. So this is what I've got to deal with. So not bad at the end of the day. So I'll show you it working. Arcade stick, all, all good. So loading times sucks, but if you can't afford the CPS-1, uh, Final Fight board, which obviously is what you would prefer. Uh, this is a good um, alternative, I think. Just shame about loading times, but uh, I can get past that for an awesome game. So, guy, favourite dude. So, here we go, show you a bit working. it kick those bins so rather than having the sort of dead feeling uh, mega drive arcade stick got a proper arcade stick here working as you can see punching these dudes in the face Obviously, he remastered awesome soundtrack, so that's pretty good. Uh, but the soundtrack and everything's beside the point. This is all about my jammer drive, and they're pretty easy enough to make um, if you're used to using a soldering iron and you're not too scared about giving it a go, really. Um, you wouldn't encounter the break in the processor like I did. You don't touch that when you do the mod normally. So, yeah, there you go. It's another. Uh, thing to my collection just a, a fun little project really as I don't have an arcade machine but there you go so Jamma Drive 2 pretty cool see ya